Hello, welcome to 365 SBS episode 191, Drive Your Train. And that is the perfect song for tonight. All the stars have lined up. So I'm going to just do that song right now. Here it is. Drive your train. Oh, yeah. All right, take one. Ow! Drive your train. Train. Don't let no but drive your train. Don't let no but drive your train. Do that cold and blowing rain. Don't let no but drive your train. But the Lord. Okay, now I'm going to show you just how the stars lined up. Number one, I've been thinking about LeBron. Because, you know, he's driving the, the Cavs train straight to Championshipsville. And he's the author of that line. I was reading an article about him a long time ago. It said, this is what he said, I don't let nobody drive my train. And if you've seen him going through the whole, that, that's the way he goes. Nobody stops him. That's a that's a runaway freight train coming at you. So he, I figured, well, I got to do that song sometime. I mean, that's what I'm thinking, you know. I got to do drive, drive, drive your train. And then on this date in 1869, old Leland Stafford did his thing. Now you might say, who's Leland Stafford? I'm going to read you something from my, from my now famous book. Here it is. <laughs> It's called the First Transcontinental Railroad. In 1854, con this is 1854, Congress passed a bill which started the building of the Transcontinental Railroad. Irish laborers hammered westward from Omaha. From Sacramento, Chinese hands rushed the work east across California. And about so, I mean, this is pretty... Strange collaboration, but you got the Irish and the Chinese both coming together. And this 15 years later, so they've been working hard on this. Finally, on this day, May 10th, on this day, May 10th, 1869, after Indian raids, business scandals, and great loss of life, the tracks were jo joined at prominent. I'm having a little a hard time reading it. Joined a promont <laughs> I'm gonna get it. Promontory Point, Utah, 
Here, President Leland Stafford of the Central Pacific drove a golden spike into the last tie of the California Laurel Wood. Today was the day when the, the train, intercontinental train was track was joined together, Chinese and the Irish, and, I, and the gold spike. I mean, come on, quite a day, May 10th. Not only that, I just today decided to make this picture behind you, which is a train, by the way. We'll look at this a little bit later. To be the lead dog of my new print series. And it, as if that wasn't enough, well, it is enough. So there you go. And there we go. And look at this. See? I'll show you. I'm not joking. I'm not kidding. This is my train series, man. Oh, let's get this in a little better light. Oh, yeah. Now. Now we're looking like something. There it is. I've used this one other time in a real early show called... Uh, what was the name of that song? Uh, well, it was about a train. I don't know. It's a train song. Oh, train don't stop. But I, I put it to all these pieces together into one kind of a collection because this is my train series, and this is going to be my new print series. I'm going to have kind of a little print shop on the old Etsy, and uh, there you go. Let's go. This is my favorite one of the four. Hey, it's working pretty good. There's the one with the horses running beside. There's the iron horse and the, the fleshly horses. Look, look in the background. There's a nice little city. Okay. There's this train there. They're pulling in the station. Yay. Getting waves here. There, they're getting ready pulling back out the dog's messing with the switch controller but he can't do nothing with that and then over here coming back in so there you go so you see why I had to do this song today because the stars just lined up and that's what you got to do so there we go. And I'm going to have to say uh, ciao for now. Hashtag GBE. Over and out. Wait, where's the classic pose? L let's let this guy right here. This little fam. Do the classic pose. Oh, look. He's got a suitcase. He's getting ready to move. Suitcase full of prints. Going to New York City. That's it. Over and out. Dunsville, USA. See ya.